Alright guys, so let's go through the culling system that we use in our studio. Now, like I mentioned before, we like to use the flagging system in our studio and we keep it really, really simple. Basically, either an image is kept and it's delivered, which is going to be marked as a flag, or the image is going to be deleted and not delivered. Um, and the reason that we do this is versus any other culling system like using stars or color labels is that it's very very simple um, when I'm going through uh, like if I if I load up an image and I, I see this one image and I'm using a star based system I sit there thinking okay is this image gonna be deleted no okay well is it good enough for portfolio no well is it good enough to be delivered yes do I need to post produce it yes I have to sit there and think through this process as I'm going through each image I want something that's very quick and easy and so that's why rather than using color labels or rather than using stars we simply say either we're going to pick or remove the image. And what we do is we actually cull out. So what we do is we start with every image and then so I'm just going to my grid view, I'm hitting control A to select all my images and then I'm going to hit P to mark every single image as flagged. And then what I'm going to do to make it even more simple is simply say do I want to keep this image or do I want to reject it? And watch this. I'm going to turn on the filter down in this this little quick filter in my bar right here on my film strip. So I'm going to filter flag photos only. So when I reject a photo now, then it's automatically going to remove it from my flag status. So all I do is I say, okay, this image is good. It shows three lenses. It shows the bag set up with lenses. This is good. I'm going to keep it. This image is fine. I'm going to keep it. These next two, well, these are very similar. So let me bring up, I'm going to compare these by selecting both of them hitting C. Now, I kind of like this image on the right a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reject the one on the left because it's similar. This one shows the exact same thing, only it holds more. So I'm not going to deliver this one. So I'm going to have that one selected by just clicking on it, and then I'm going to hit X to remove it. Automatically it's removed from my view because I'm filtering for flagged images only, and we marked it as rejected. So I'm going to go to my next image. I'm going to turn off my, uh, my compare by just hitting E. And then, okay, so this next image, I'm going to compare these three. I can also, if I have three similar images, I can select all three and I can hit N to go into survey mode. And I'm going to remove my panels by hitting tab just so I can see all three next to each other. Now in this one, I probably would want to go with this second image, maybe either the second one or the third one. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the first to make sure this is selected. And how this works basically when you're doing compare and survey mode is if you reject something, it's going to reject whatever is highlighted in, in white. So you can see the highlight right here. You can also see how the highlight in the film strip is a little bit brighter than these two. So when I hit X, it's, I know it's going to be the image on the left that's removed. So I want to remove that one. Now I'm left with these two. Um, okay, so I think I like this one on the right better. It's a little bit bright, but we can fix the toning and everything in post-production. So I'm going to remove the one on the left by hitting X again. And so automatically, because we're filtering for flags only, um, it, it just gets removed from the lineup. It's still there, so if I remove my filter, I'm going to go back to grid view by hitting G. I'm going to bring back my, my tab so I can see them on, uh, by hitting tab, just my panels. Um, and now if I hit flagged, I can see all the images, and I see that the images are still there. They're just flagged as rejected. Now again, the cool thing about the flagging system is that any time I can hit control backspace again, and automatically it brings up my eight, well, how many I've selected? Yeah, eight photos right now that are re flagged as rejects, and it gives me the option to delete them from disk or to remove them from the library. I'm going to hit cancel again because we don't want to remove these. So. so what I'm going to do now is go through the rest of these real quick and just quickly reject the images that I don't want. And so I think this one's probably the best view. We can see the entire strap. Actually, I like both those two. I'm going to reject the third one. And let me turn on my filter so it automatically kicks it from there. And then of these three, I like that second one. I'm going to pick the second one. All right, for this male model, I'm going to probably just pick one. I think the first one's probably the best. Reject those two. So I'm going to go through the rest of this, basically picking one picture of each model with each cover, uh, as well as picking only a couple from this. So you guys can go through and do that as an exercise on your own. In the next chapter, you guys can download the catalog where we have these adjustments already made.